hello, friends and reloaders, uh, internet wanderers. However you found your way to the channel today, welcome. It's been a couple of years since I've posted on the channel, and some new things have happened, and I want to take a few minutes to update you on the progress of this project. So for those of you who are new to this or, or just finding this today, in 2018, I started on a project to build a case sorter which uses machine vision and machine learning to classify cases by head stamp. There's other videos about this. If you kind of go back in the history of my channel, you'll see some of those videos. So we won't rehash all of that now. But two years ago, we released CS 7.1, which was an enhancement on version 7. And over those two years, through the Discord and through the different channels, I've been supporting uh, the community, and the community is, has been supporting each other, but uh, a bunch of stuff has come up, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of work on some of the issues that seem to come up over and over again, and that was sort of how CS 7.2 was born. So CS 7.2 has some goals for me, and the goals were based directly on what we were seeing from feedback from people building new machines. So one, we wanted to make the machine easier to build. A lot of people came in, into the channel and looked at the machine and kind of said, uh, it's maybe it, it, I'd be getting in over my head. It's too much soldering or the electronics seem complicated. So one of the goals was to eliminate that roadblock for potential DIYers. And, and I should say, this is a DIY project still. I have no plans of building and selling completed machines. However, there are people in the community who are offering that as a service. And so if you join us on Discord, um, we'll hook you up with somebody who can probably build a machine for you if you really are not interested in the DIY route at all. That said, I, I won't be one of those people. Um, I'm more of the facilitator and supporter of the project. So the second thing with this project that I wanted to do is make it cheaper to build. Originally, I thought the price would be about $150 to build this machine. But after sort of collecting statistics and trends over the last few years, I found that a lot of people spent way more than that because they had to buy a whole bunch of hardware and stuff that where they only needed two pieces, they had to buy 10 because uh, you can't buy two pieces of something in some cases. The nuts and bolts and springs and all that stuff, they came in kits and not um, individual parts. And so while the sum of the individual parts was fairly inexpensive, you had to buy a lot of extra stuff that you weren't going to use. So one of the goals in this project was to eliminate all that excess expense. So another goal here was to make the build less frustrating and eliminate um, failure points. So there are a lot of areas in this build where people could plug something in wrong or um, buy the wrong thing or hook something up backwards. And so we really wanted to eliminate some of those early frustrations. And there were a few issues that keep coming up over and over again in the forum, but mostly around motor wiring and, and those sorts of things. So one of the goals was to eliminate that as well. Lastly, I wanted to add more consistency to the builds. So if two people built the machine, th their results would be similar. And that would allow them then to share the models that they've created in the software with each other. Um, one of those elements that came up time and time again was lighting on the brass. And so different people were taking different solutions to sort of provide backlighting. And that creates different lighting environments, which create different images. And, and it wasn't really great for sharing models across the different systems. So one of the solutions for that was I created a custom PCB light ring. And so this is something that goes with the CS 7.2 camera module. And if everyone is using this light ring, then our lighting should be the same across the different builds. For the electronics, we replaced all those electronics with a custom made board. So over the last two years, I've been sort of self-learning uh, PCB uh, construction and working with manufacturers to, to build my own board that had all the components of the project on one PCB. And the board has spring terminals, so no more soldering and no um, special tools or anything like that. Now, I am using ferrules across the board, and they're, they're a little clip-on or a clamp-on ferrule. And so that's the one tool that if you needed to buy, you might. If you buy the full kit that I'm going to be offering, there's no need to buy any special tools. 
but this board has everything on it. All the enhancements that we've come up with where uh, software dimming the old CS 7.1 had a, a knob to change the lighting. And this you can do in software. The motor voltage is controlled in software. It has uh, modifications for airdrop, some of those things that we've looked at in the past to use air to assist the brass falling. It has um, a built-in five volt power supply. And so one of the elements we found is that some computers, five volt uh, off the USB is not great, not stable. And so the boards would drop or lose communication. So we put a big beefy, um, very stable five volt power supply on this board. It has a USB hub on it, and that allows us to plug the camera directly into the board. So there's only one USB-C connector that goes from the machine to your computer. And it shows up when you plug it in as an Arduino Uno. And so we program it the same way we did in the past. Um, the one caveat here is there is there could be a driver required, a driver installation required. That's easy to install, it takes a minute. The drivers are located in the 7.2 repo. So a couple other things. Uh, I've been putting together these. These are the ferrules that we use. And every color that we use in this project is available here. These are EO308s. So I'm going to be selling these kits on my Shopify store, which is also new with this build. I decided to start selling these direct rather than put them on Amazon. Uh, there's too much overhead with Amazon, and it just drives the prices too high. Uh, another element is we have custom stickers made or labels for the board. And so um, the kits that you can buy with the board come with these stickers and they make it very easy for you to install the different components onto the board. Another big switch for this build is everything is all this, all the uh, sensors are optical. And so we have a mechanical optical interface for the homing switch. The reason for this was we found that the old mechanical style would wear out after about 500,000 clicks to a million clicks. And that seems like a, a high number, but if you're running this machine all the time, you'll hit that in a month. What we found was switching to the optical, this little design, I was able to get more than 9 million clicks out of it and it was still running after that. So I never was able to actually kill the optical switch. We were also using optical on the homing, one of the other problems we addressed was the jamming issue with the sorter. So we had, there was an eight slot guide on the sorter base and we just got rid of that guide altogether because what we found was you don't need it. And we can, you can lengthen the size of the drop tubes if you want. The system runs fine without the guide and there's far less points for it to jam. So let's talk about the kits a little bit. Uh, one of the things I did to try to make this project much easier for people is to create a full build kit. And so I have one of those here and I'm putting these together myself, but I worked with suppliers to do a lot of the work. So these kits have everything you need to build the project other than the 3D printed parts. So if you have a 3D printer, you're gonna spend 20 to $30 in filament costs to print everything, but this kit I'm putting, I'm selling for 150, that includes the shipping and it has everything you need. And so we have a couple motors, we have a pre-built camera module, all the cables and the cables have the custom uh, ferrules connectors installed already on them. We get a USB cable, a couple of labels, the board. And one of the other things we have is the parts kit. So this is all the nuts, bolts and bearings, uh, springs, flanges, everything you need to build uh, this project. And again, I mean, this was a lot of work to put together, but you know, in the long run, I think this is going to make things way easier for new builders. So I'm really excited about this kit and um, I'm hoping you guys uh, find this to be really cool as well. For those of you builders who have a lot of parts and don't really want to shell out that for the, all this uh, stuff that you might not end up using, I have another kit, which is the essentials kit. And this is just the parts that I need for this part. And so the essentials kit has the board. I mean, the parts you can only get from me at this point. So the board comes in that kit. You can see there's uh, a couple stickers and the light ring. 
and the heat set insert for proximity sensor. So these are all parts that I've manufactured over the last few years. And uh, the essentials kit, I believe right now is on my site for $65. And that would require you bring your own motors and you bring your own wires and you uh, provide all your own screws and bolts. There is a parts list available, which has all the stuff you need for this project still. And there are build guides available for each and every element in this project. Also, there's a video series, the CS 7.2 build series, which I'm wrapping up. And it has detailed videos on each part of this build, including the final setup and getting started with the software. So I'm really excited about that. There was a few things I didn't do last time and definitely tried to get those this time and improve on that build. So before I wrap up this video, I want to take a minute and just thank all the builders who have jumped on Discord and who have helped each other, who have made this project and have offered great feedback. All those who have given support, um, people have bought coffees and, and even just said, hey, this is a great project. I really love it. Thank you. I, I mean, it means a ton to me when I hear that. And so this has always been a hobby. I've never wanted to make a business out of this. I've kind of been driven by the tax laws and whatnot to generate a business for this um, this year. So trying to figure that out. But that business is really just to support this project. All the links for this project and to join are going to be available within the description of this video. So check that out. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. The machine sound, what shall we do with the machine sound? What shall we do with the machine sound? Sorting your head stumps all around. Hooray, sort so faster! Hooray, sort so faster! Hooray, sort so faster! Sorting head